So unfortunately, I don't have a um, a plug-in monitor, obviously, that can record uh, the screen like some of the guys on YouTube. But I use my video glasses, and it kind of worked. Um, but as you can see here, lovely and sharp, and uh, it was a good start to um, just experiencing the eye autofocus on animals. So with the animal eye autofocus working on the A7R3, really, really good, uh, especially with the cats absolutely blinding literally bang 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 straight all the time no troubles whatsoever um, and uh, it becomes really apparent on this shot here because as you zoom in you can see there the eyes are banging sharp and the nose is slightly soft so even on an f4 lens it's actually picking out the eyes and uh, not giving you a sharp nose and soft eyes which is the common uh, sort of uh, bad photo of an animal really so it's exactly the same as humans sharp eyes and everything else can soften off a little bit. So works really, really well. Really pleased so far. So this bit here, I'm actually using my video glasses to look through the viewfinder. So uh, excuse the bad aiming. Um, as you can see here, the autofocus is down on the grass at the moment. As soon as the cat looks back up well, towards the camera, and I'll actually lift the camera slightly. There you go, straight on the eye again. So it really, really does work. Um, it allows you to sort of compose shots on the fly. Um, without having to try and you know with animal photography the noses stick out so much further than the eyes generally that actually quite often you end up with a sharp nose and out of focus eyes so this should combat um, those difficulties which is really really good um, so it's definitely not just a gimmick exactly the same with the um, iota focus on the um, the humans as well so this shot here literally just camera down aimed two shots and my shutter speed was a little bit slow, unfortunately, but um, but the eye is definitely sharp. Um, so there's a little bit of slight softness, but only because the cat's moving and I kind of was still aiming the camera down. So that's down to my movement, but as you can see, it's still sharp. Well, then moved on to horses. So it seemed to be a bit hit and miss with this. It definitely works and it definitely recognized horses' eyes. Um, but the different patterns and colours that horses can be, it's kind of a bit, and obviously the eyes are on the side of their head a bit more than say, a cat. Um, I think it struggled a little bit, and obviously we we do know that Sony say it's only accurate at the moment for dogs and cats. Uh, anything else is just obviously uh, a similarity, and it's it's obviously uh, going to come uh, an update of some sort which will obviously be more accurate. Um, but it was working quite well uh, every now and again. Um, so it definitely works, it's just got to be um, sort of honed in a bit. <coughs> so white horse is a little bit fussy, does do it, but seems to... Sort of not hunt, but it, it focuses normally. So I wonder if a brown horse would be more suitable. Gonna have a look. It's not actually working. Hello. Whoa. So with this shot it actually worked, but it was kind of pretty easy to for the camera to actually recognize it as a horse's face I guess um, but it was very hit and miss with the horses um, yeah so obviously that will will happen the other thing I noticed as well random stuff if I didn't turn it off um, it was thinking these eggs like Easter eggs that are hanging up on the side of the stables here um, were eyes so it was locking onto the odd eye um, which it's kind of handy because we know that they're they're focused, um, and exactly the same on this uh, sort of uh, wreath thing here. Um, the bottom right um, pink uh, egg there that was being focused on like an eye, um, but I guess they're the shape of an eye roughly. So that maybe that's the reason why. Um, all in all, one hell of an update. A really really nice, um, and for obviously pets and things like that, it's really really good. Cats and dogs and things. Um, and especially for dogs running around or cats running around, the fact you can stay with it and it just tracks it and keeps the eyes sharp, 
that's pretty much almost impossible, uh, especially with a fast lens. It's all right if you're shooting at f8 or f5.6 or something like that, it's going to be. But if you want a lovely blurred background um, with a fast lens or a big zoom lens going on, you know, you, you need that eye tracking to really get the eyes sharp and obviously the nose uh, slightly soft. Uh, otherwise, you do get that issue of a sharp nose and soft eyes, and it's just not a particularly good photo then, is it? Anyway, guys, I hope that was informative. Um, please subscribe, please click the notification bell, and I shall see you soon.